Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to cook laing in santol. So my version doesn't use coconut milk or gata. For the ingredients, we will be using fresh laing, fried pork or we call this in Kapampangan, piti chan, and we have leftover shrimp and this is optional. About 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Santol or cotton fruit. 1 medium onion and 3 cloves of garlic. 2 tablespoons of bagoong. To the cotton fruit, you tap it with a knife to bring out the juice. You may or may not add the seeds to the laing. And if ever you're going to use the seeds, make sure to remove them before serving. After we slice the meat of the santol, salt to taste, and water as needed. Into our pan, we heat our oil and saute our garlic and onions. Then we add our fried pork. At the end of this video, I will add a short clip on how to cook the piti chan. Then we add our cotton fruit or santol. Then we add our bagoong. If you are going to use fresh bagoong, add it after sauteing the onions and garlic. Then we add our laing or gabi leaves or taro. So this is one vegetable dish that we need to overcook. If not properly cooked, there will be mild itching on your tongue. Then we cover for the taro to wilt. In about 10 minutes, open and mix. Then add water. Again, we close and cook some more. Open and season with salt. As you can see, we are halfway cooking it as the volume of the taro decreases. It's cooked when everything is wilted. We will tap our leftover shrimp to reheat. And we are ready to plate. And this is my laing in santol. My piti chan recipe after.
we boiled the pork rinds using minimal amount of water. The water then evaporates and the fat draws out from the pork. Fry until crispy. And this is the Kapampangan Piti Chan. Again, thanks for watching. Please stay home and stay safe. Bye!